Hey, uh, what's up? It's been a while, I realize. Uh, we were on a little bit of a vacation, I guess. We like to travel uh, every now and then, like typically once or twice a year. And we like to go travel domestically, like somewhere in Japan. Because it's nice, you know? It's nice to just kind of be a tourist again. So we're in Sapporo uh, on a little bit of a short trip. And I think like pretty much all of our trips, we haven't made any plans yet. We probably should, but we just, I don't know, I guess we don't. So I don't know, we'll figure it out. We'll walk, walk around, just probably do some window shopping and we'll just go from there. In the first floor of the hotel we were staying at, there was this really cool like craft coffee and craft beer cafe kind of thing called neighbor which honestly was pretty good <laughs> i mean like i like coffee in general but you know it was like it was an experience so after lunch we decided to do like a little bit of window shopping as we typically do like we we tend to do a lot of window shopping every time we go uh travel we do try to go and go to like every pokemon center at least once, like in the country, as some weird kind of checklist. Every time we go to like a city with Pokemon Center, we try to make it so we go visit the Pokemon Center. It's kind of dumb, but it's a thing that we've always done, and it's kind of fun. So since we're in Sapporo with the Pokemon Center, we kind of had to swing by. Even though we like never get anything, we just like go. It's like a thing that we do, so I don't know. If you're gonna be in the city for like a, a while, you need a place to chill out or hang out or whatever, uh, there is this like park, you know, in the middle of the city. It's kind of like a mini, like a tiny central park, I guess. Probably the standout, you know, landmark here would be the Sapporo TV Tower. It's not like super tall or anything. Uh, I'm sure, you know, you've probably seen taller towers. You may live in a city with a taller tower, but it's still, <laughs> I would say, you know, the landmark for this area. What do you want to do today? Huh? What do you want to do today? Anything. That means book off. Okay, so I, I know I've like talked about book off like a lot. Like I, I, we like really like book off. We've gone to like so many book offs. Like the last time we went on a little trip, we went to Nagoya, spent like at least a whole day just going to book off so i could talk about book off forever this one's kind of cool it is like a little bit bigger than than some book offs uh, and there's a lot of things to look at if you are like remotely into any kind of like japanese pop culture so the first floor uh, as you could probably I've already guessed, is dedicated primarily to like anime goods, figures, that kind of stuff, games, right? Um, if you're looking for other things, the second floor will just be like books. Third floor will be your CDs, your DVDs. And then the top floor, this one is kind of cool, is just like trading cards, like collectible trading card game kind of stuff. So it doesn't matter if you're into like Pokemon or into Yu-Gi-Oh or into like some of the other ones. Uh, you can buy some trading card game stuff you can get cards and there's also like a dual space so if you want to hang out with people or strangers play games you can all do that here at this book off on one of the other days that we were here we went to otaru which is like a bit of a train ride it's like an hour or so uh, out of sapporo it is like a kind of cool really small town tourist vibe like you can see here it's just kind of charming i guess i would call it uh, one of the tourist spots, I guess, is the canal. So lots of people come here. Uh, it's really good for photos. Like it's a really photogenic area, I would say. So if you want to just grab some some cool like shots, you can do that. We went on the cruise, like this canal cruise. Like it's it's not too long. It's like twenty minutes, and it's not even that expensive. It is kind of what it is, like what you're seeing here is basically the, the experience It's like, you know, that's the experience. So it's up to you, I guess, to decide if it's worth it. But if you're going to be a tourist and you want to do tourist things, you might as well hop on this tiny boat, sit around for a little bit, take some photos. It's uh, kind of relaxing. 
If you don't want to take a train out of the city though, you can actually just go to Mount Moiwa. You buy your tickets for the cable car and you just kind of ride that up to the observation level. It was really, really windy uh, when we got there. So it started out like mildly windy, but as the night kind of went on, as, as the sun set, it got like, <laughs> got like way windier. If you're gonna go visit, you know, Mount Moiwa, I would actually recommend going like around sunset so you can kind of catch the city skyline and it looks great. It looks really, really good. And honestly, that is it. <laughs> we were only in Sapporo for like a couple days. We honestly, I, like, I feel like we didn't even do that many things. Sorry, Sapporo. We'll be back uh, probably and uh, we'll see more of you. But that was it. That was like my short Sapporo experience. <laughs>